Good evening, friends. I hope you are doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up OpenVPN in AWS 62 and then uh, point your domain, also set up an SSL certificate using Let's Encrypt. So let's get started. I am in AWS Marketplace, and here, if you search with OpenVPN, you will come to this uh, page where they will show you the product details and all those informations. You can see that uh, the charge is only for the EC2 instance charge. There is no software charge. That's good. So let's set up a new instance with uh, OpenVPN AMI. This is a AMI that has been provided by the OpenVPN company. So I'm just going to use that. And uh, let's first choose the region. I'm, I'm in uh, AWS uh, Asia Pacific. So I'm going to choose Asia Pacific Singapore. That's the nearest region for me. And then 64-bit, uh, that's good. And I think T2 small, that should be fine. I'm going to choose T2 small. OK, let's click Continue to Subscribe. So this will uh, subscribe the AMI for my account, I accept the terms, and then uh, it takes some time, like one or two minutes to just accepting the terms and all those things. So if you have uh, a coffee or tea, just take a break, come back in two minutes while it's being created. Okay, while it's uh, subscribing, let me describe what I'm going to do. So I'm going to launch an OpenVPN access server, and then I'm going to connect from my uh, local machine over there. And then I'm going to connect to the server, and then I'm going to kind of like, uh, run all those uh, necessary comments. Yeah, so let's uh, check the comments. So um, I think let's first create the instance and then continue with the application. OK, so I'm going to choose uh, 2.13. That is the latest version, I guess. And the region is, uh, there is Asia Pacific Singapore. Here it is, Singapore. Looks good. Uh, continue. Launch action. Launch from the uh, launch to EC2. So this will send me to EC2 with the AMI as a pre configured. And uh, I can choose the name. So let's choose the name OpenVPN. Then this is the AMI. So I keep it as it is, don't need to change anything. We just change the uh, instance type T2 small, but let's say T3 small. I prefer the T3 rather than T2 for some reason. Okay, now let's create a new uh, here. Uh, I can press VPN. You can use spam file or TPK. I'm going to use spam file. Yeah, the appropriate create a new security group and uh, yes. then uh, HTTP is fine. Let's click here. Let me choose I am instance profile. That should be also good. All other settings you can keep as it is. Now let's click the launch instance button. It should launch the instance. And then it will be, uh, you are able to connect to the instance. So the launch instance will take around uh, one or two minutes. So have some patience and uh, finish your coffee. You need to pause the video for a moment. And OK, my instance is ready. So. Uh, it this is the public uh, IP address of the instance, and I'm going to connect. And let's see if I can connect via the session manager. So let's see. Because I given an IAM instance role so that I can connect uh, via the session manager. And I think session manager is also fine. You can either log in as a session man with using the session manager. Also, you can use like uh, putty to use the PM file that we created, like this PM file you can use to connect. Anyway, you can choose whatever you wanted, uh, you are comfortable. 
connect to the instance and then uh, should do a save. So let's see, we can take, yeah. Press enter to indicate the agreement and accept the agreement. Yes. Okay, so um, I'm just pressing enter. We have the default values. I think uh, I, everything kept as a default. I haven't changed anything. 943, that's the IP port that is going to be used for accessing the web version. Okay, let's choose a password here. Sounds good. Copy it. Text. Paste it again. I don't have any access activation key, so I keep it blank. Now it is setting up your uh, Open VPN, activating your Open VPN with the IP address and port. By the way, I need to open that port nine four three, so I need to go to that instance. Click on security. Security groups and then I click edit. And then I click on the custom TCP and 943. So that needs to be anywhere. And let's verify let's them. So I click here. There should be an SSL error. That's good. But let's okay. So uh, the server is uh, setup is done. I'm just going to uh, copy one more time. And then run it in VPN and then the password. Yeah, that is okay. European VPN server is setup done. Now it looks weird because there is no uh, a, no SSL certificate set up and it's not secure. It's not looking good. So I want to set up an SSL certificate. How can I do that? Let's uh, point a domain. So I'm just going to have a uh, domain name with my uh, APA. And then uh, just need to copy the IP address of the instance. This is the IP address. Paste it here. Save. Now this is uh, I'm pointing a domain like VPN to XYZ should point Should point to the server. Now let's um, which has to be S, column, and then column 943. Yeah, same issue. Um, we don't have uh, SSL setup over there, so that can be fixed. Don't worry. I'm going to copy the password again. I'm just trying to log in. Time. Open VPN. Password. So. Okay, good. Now, uh, how to set up Red Screen Kit? I'm going to use the official documentation of uh, OpenVPN. So, if you search OpenVPN, VPN, uh, S, S, with Let's Encrypt, then uh, you might receive some uh, links, but go to the official one. So either you can choose here or here. Let's see this article and this article both should be fine. I forget which one I choose, but yeah, this one. So 
let's support that i will give you the link uh, in the video description you can just uh, use that link from the video description it's very simple you just go paste the comments here copy and then uh, run it here so uh, again, this is not the correct one. This is the wrong. So you can run this command. Let me clear the screen so you can see everything. So okay. The next command is to uh, install or uh, issue certificate, right? So I'm to issue certificate. Okay. Now here, I just need to copy this and open in a notepad, paste it here, and put your uh, domain or subdomain name. In the, my example, it's vpn.apico.xyz. And uh, remember to open port 80, otherwise you might not be able to uh, Issue the certificate. Yeah, port eight zero is open, so that's good. Now let's run it. Okay, I am the right of. Yeah. So it's trying to issue a SSL certificate, but it's only issuing the certificate, and it's not really linking it. So as you can see, the certificate is being issued and it's saved into this path. ETC, let's encrypt live vpn the radical xyz and then put in that pen and the private key that pen. That's good. Now, uh, if we go to the documentation, then uh, what they're saying is uh, you copy this line, okay. open it in a notepad, and then let's paste it here. So everything is uh, looks good. Only thing that you need to change is that the this section SSL example dot com. Yeah, you replace with your real domain or subdomain. So in that case, my one is vpn dot dot xyz. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Copy this and paste it here. Copy this and paste it here. Okay, good. Looks good. Now, um, because we are already in SC, so you can just copy these this section. We can run command one by one. That's better because it's a browser. So sometimes comments get messed out. So clear, uh, clear my screen. I run it. Okay, there is no error. That means good. If there is any error, you will see the error. Especially if you miss, missed uh, spelled anything on the file name, then you get an error. So hopefully uh, everything I typed here is correct. Let's run. And this is the last one. Okay, we issued the certificate and then we are uh, linking the certificate with an open VPN and then we are starting. Now, if we, uh, we run this in a different uh, browser. So what we will see that uh, here we have an SSL certificate and that is being issued by the Let's Encrypt Authority, July 7, 2024. Sounds good. So everything is set. You can now use your pin, username, password, login, and all those things, which is very secure network. And here you can also see the secured network if you just uh, type here one more time. Then you should see that this is being secured. No more SSL errors. Okay, once you set up the SSL, one thing to do is to restart it automatically via a cron job. And you can do it manually. You can do it automatically. I'm going to show how does the manual process here. So you create a file here. Simply just run the command, what we have given here. Okay, uh, here you will be also given uh, one example. So basically, 
this this is the section that you just copy and put it be here. Uh, put it here. Okay, now copy this three lines. Then run it here. Control X Y. Okay, then um, set up the file permission. Once the file permission setup is done, then you can uh, set up a Chrome job, run this script on a regular interval. Which is right. X, Y, yes, that's it. So we're all done. So what we did, we choose an, uh, we go to marketplace, choose an open VPN AMI. We launched the AMI and then we uh, did the setup. Then we uh, point our subdomain to that uh, EC2 server. After that, we installed less than crypt using let, let's than crypt, we issued an SSL certificate. And then we have linked that certificate with with OpenVPN. We restarted, and that's it. We are good to use the OpenVPN using the SSL certificate. You see the certificate; it's three months valid. After three months, you will get a new certificate. That's it. So, uh, if you don't like to use Let's Encrypt, you can use some other uh, certificate provider and then purchase the certificate. You will get these two files, right? This PAM file and then SART file. So you can just use those things and just try to replace the, put your file in a server and put the file path here. That should be fine. Then you don't need to run this uh, cron job uh, regularly, but rather than you will renew it outside the Let's Encrypt process. Hopefully this will help you to set up OpenVPN and use VPN to access your private servers and other servers as well. That's it. Thank you, everyone. Allah is. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye.